Hey Spartans, welcome back to another week of SPTV. I'm Kat Petros. And I'm Kaylee Kasuba. Let's get into some announcements. Kat, can you start us off? Sure, Kaylee. This week, our very own Sage Club is holding a drive for St. Mary's Place, a local homeless women's shelter. From March 20th to March 24th, there will be boxes around the commons and in the office to collect the items they need most. Examples are socks, scarves, and other toiletries to help members in this shelter. Thank you for helping those within our community in need. Hey seniors, can you act, sing, or dance? Are you in a band or play an instrument? We would love for you to show off your talent at the Senior Assembly or Baccalaureate. We will be holding auditions on April 20th and 21st. To apply, please go to the Senior website and click on the audition link. Informational forms can be found in the main office. Group or solo acts can both apply. Apply online by April 14th. Email Mr. Gillespie with any questions. Tello is April 1st and approaching soon. Come dress up as your favorite movie or TV character and enjoy the Family Fun Center. Forms are online on the Skyline website. Tickets are on sale this week at both lunches, 23 with ASB card and 25 without. Prices increase each week, so buy them quick. Spartans, make sure you come out at 6.30 on Thursday, March 30th to witness the amazing talent that your fellow classmates have at SNL, also known as Spartan Night Live. Tickets are 6 with an ASB card and 7 without. But if you bring a can of food, you can get a discount of $1. So make sure you come check out the amazing show and support Skyline's food drive by bringing a can of food. Do you think you have what it takes to be on camera, behind the scenes, and creative with videos? Come by Miss Earthley's room 2302 and pick up an SPTV application. We have our spring food drive coming up, and next Monday marks the start of our two-week food drive competition. From March 27th to April 7th, spaghetti, pasta, nuts, canned fruit, breakfast cereal, and healthy soups are encouraged to be brought in. Make sure to bring in these items to your fourth period class next week. Feeling nervous about testing? The PTSA is offering practice ACT and SAT tests in a real testing environment right here at Skyline. March 25th is the ACT practice and April 1st is the SAT practice. Both sessions start at 9 a.m. Make sure you sign up for the blood drive. The deadline is tomorrow, March 23rd. The day of the donating is April 5th. Make sure to hydrate. Attention all sophomores and juniors. Do you have a cumulative GPA of 3.7 or higher? You are eligible to apply for National Honor Society. Application packets are now available on the Skyline NHS website, skylinenhs.weebly.com. Applications are due April 7th at 3 o'clock p.m. Current NHS members do not need to reapply. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Parsons. Next week is our Tolo Spirit Week. Show off your spirit and come dressed up for the days. Monday is blanket slash PJ day, Tuesday is black and white, Wednesday is we wear pink, Thursday is inside out, and Friday is freaky Friday. There's always so much to do at Skyline. Make sure you're jumping in and getting involved. Now you know what's going on around here, so let's see what's going on around the world. All you, Em. Hi, I'm Emily Tang with your world news in 30 seconds. President Trump has proposed budget cuts to the Environmental Protection Agency, the State Department, and the Agriculture Department, as well as many other government programs. However, the Department of Veteran Affairs, Homeland Security, and Defense will see a great increase in budget. Additionally, California, Washington, Maryland, New York, Oregon, Massachusetts, Minnesota, and Hawaii have blocked Trump's travel ban for the second time. Finally, in Latin America, the Venezuelan government has enforced new regulations on bakeries aimed to make bread more affordable during their economic recession. Bakeries could be fined if people have to queue to buy essential foods. I'm Emily Tang, and this has been Around the World in 30 Seconds. 30 seconds on the dot. Every freaking time. <laughs> hey, Kaylee, when you were little, did you paint your little Easter eggs? Yeah, but you know what's better than painting them? Making your own egg. Let's send it over to Olivia and McKenna. Um, hey guys, I'm Liv. I'm Chase. And today, we're gonna, I don't even know what this is, we're gonna be filming a Pinterest oh. DIY. Cody, you can figure out how to do it. I uh, kind of You're the only one here that's read the directions. I get to cheat. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Use your fingers. So I've gone for the tactic of... Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, no. You see, that's what following the directions gets you. It gets you nowhere in life. We can make placentas. Right. Ah! You know what a placenta feels like? <laughs> I'm sorry. You cut my pants so <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I'm done. Um, Cody's is a mess. Moral of the story, I'm amazing and Cody isn't. But we already knew that, so I don't know. 
No. We have some really talented students here at Skyline. Let's send it over to Alyssa for our Skyline Arts. Hey Spartans, my name is Alyssa Scott and welcome to Skyline Arts. Jazz band and vocal jazz performed at Jazz and Java on Friday, March 10th. On March 16th, Treble Choir participated in the East Shore Choir Festival at Issaquah High School. Last Friday, the State Thespian Festival was held in Ellensburg where people got to learn about pursuing a career in acting or technical theater. Skyline Orchestra performed on March 9th and March 21st for the East Shore Orchestra Festival. The ICS Art Walk takes place this Saturday, March 25th. If you're interested, people will be showcasing many of their own art and music pieces. Beauty and the Beast finally released last week. If you get the chance, go see it. I know I will. Also, a message to any Game of Thrones fans out there. There will be a live concert at the Key Arena in Seattle on the 31st of March. Tickets begin at $60, so if you're interested, then get your tickets soon. That's it for now, Skyline, and I'll see you next time. Man, I wish I was musically talented. <sighs> I feel you. At least we're athletic. Let's send it over to Morgan for sports. Hey, Spartans, I'm Morgan Jones. We have a lot to cover from last week, so let's get into it. Boys Baseball won their game versus Peninsula 6-3 last Thursday. Their game versus Emerald Ridge on Saturday was postponed due to rain. The boys will travel down to Liberty tomorrow to take on the Patriots at 4.30 p.m. Also, make sure to show your support for your baseball team on Monday by heading down to Issaquah at 4.30 p.m. Girls Golf had a match yesterday versus Newport, and I'll be back next week with more information on that. Tomorrow, the ladies will take on Woodville at Wayne Golf Course and Inglemore on Monday at Inglewood. Good luck, girls. On the field, boys soccer took on Bothell on Friday, where they tied 1-1. They also faced Mount Si yesterday, and I'll update you on the scores of the game next week. Got plans on Friday night? Well, now you do. Head down to Issaquah Friday at 7.30 to cheer on Skyline as your boys take on the Eagles. The Spartans will also be traveling to Pop Keeney on Tuesday to take on Woodenville. Fast Pitch's game on Saturday versus Kamiak was postponed due to rain, but they took on Monroe on Monday and Bothell on Tuesday. Tomorrow, the girls will face Mount Si right here on our home field. Be here at 4.30 to support Skyline as they take on the Wildcats. On Saturday, Fast Pitch will travel to Lake Stevens and also to Issaquah on Tuesday. Good luck! Track had an amazing meet last Wednesday versus Newport. Girls won 82.5 to 73.5, and the boys won 97.5 to 48.5. Ali Hirayama won the shot put by three feet. Liam Carius set a giant 22-foot PR in the discus and is now only 19 feet away from breaking the school record. And Luke Stiles won all of his events, including the 100-meter, high jump, long jump, and triple jump, with a one-foot PR in the triple jump. The Spartans will face Inglemore right here at Skyline tomorrow at 4 p.m. On the courts, girls tennis took down Redmond 7-0. They faced Lake Washington on Monday and Bellevue on Tuesday. Tomorrow, tennis will face Mercer Island right here at Skyline at 3.45 p.m. They also have matches at home on Tuesday versus Eastlake. Good luck, ladies. Dance team went to districts and qualified in all three routines for state. The girls will travel to the Sun Dome this weekend to compete for state titles. There is a send-off on Wednesday at 6.30 in the Spartan Gym. Come out on Wednesday night to wish our dance team good luck. That's all I have for you today, Skyline. Back to you, Kat and Kaylee. Great work, Spartans. And let's wish a very happy birthday to Miss Idy and Miss Froman. That's all for now. See you next week, Skyline. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm going to hate that when I see it on camera. <laughs> I already know it. <laughs>